Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel which as you can see I've renamed as Design Draw Do to kind of go along with the creative theme. I'd also like to thank all the new subscribers who came over from the Urban Sketching Hacks video and I really hope that you'll find this channel useful. I post mainly creative videos about drawing and art and creativity in general. Today I wanted to share a super easy hack which can really change your art game and I've been doing this for the last few weeks and I just wanted to share this with you all. What you want to do to achieve better artwork is to create contrast of value. Now how do I do this? It's through the black and white mode. For the last few days I've been exclusively starting my drawings in black and white both digitally and traditionally. Now this is possible through the feature on Heavy Paint, which is an application that I've really been enjoying to do digital art lately. Now you can use Heavy Paint in black and white mode, which you can see there's like a small e w button at the bottom left hand corner of the user interface and you can just switch that on and turn the mode into black and white. Now this basically creates what's known as a value study of the painting. It's a really great way to understand how color can affect contrast. What I like to do in black and white mode in heavy paint is to jump to different spots in the color wheel and adjust the saturation whilst keeping the brightness more or less in the center. And this way I can get a better sense of how colors affect dark and light whilst also getting a pretty saturated painting. Changing the brightness could actually affect the dullness of the painting which is why I like to keep it in the center. I also prefer doing this because it gives me a lot of different colors to work with. On Procreate, Angry Miko has set up a feature where you can turn your whole iPad black and white and you can check it out in his video here. And I normally do this in Procreate kind of during the drawing process to see where I can achieve better contrast, especially if the drawing doesn't look right. This is a really good tip to use to see where you can highlight the darks and the lights and really pull uh, the contrast to see how you can make your drawing better. As I said, I also do this in traditional art. So when I'm doing this traditionally, I will use black and white or just black before jumping into color first. So I've been doing them before I start my pastel paintings. I've been really into soft pastels lately. <laughs> and this is courtesy of Susan Jenkins. I will normally use charcoal to um, start my value studies before I actually jump into a colored soft pastel drawing. And lately I've actually picked up a set of different shades of grey charcoal or soft pastel sorry and this is actually really useful because it can give me a wider range of values. So that's it really those are just some of the ways that I use black and white on different devices and mediums and I hope this video has helped you and if it has don't forget to you know what I'm about to say like and subscribe and take care and see you next week for another video.